Okay, MAC 248 production procedures. Um, this was the class on, on uh, January 20th. What did we learn today? We had three talks. One of them was on planning from a project management standpoint. The second one was on the hike in the goal, the game that gets played in the goal, and then how they take that game and bring it into the plant to, uh, um, um, to save their jobs and to keep the plant open. Then um, I, I, I talked the last part about an all important planning meeting that starts the process of continuous improvement in the goal and who was there and what they decided to do and how they proved it, that, um, th that they did have these phenomena um, present in the plant. The phenomena being statistical fluctuations and dependent events. Okay, um, project management planning, I, sp I spoke at that from a high level. Um, we, we, uh, we, we take the planning as like a tactical approach after a strategic approach in, in, in project initiation. In initiation, what do we know? What do we, uh, in, well in the goal, we know that we're going down the tubes. The plant's gonna be closed in three months. What do we not know? Well, they didn't know about the measures. They didn't know their accounting measures were taking them down um, that, that path. They didn't know they had dependent events and st statistical variations that were causing the, um, the problem or gave them the data to describe their problem. They didn't know any of those things. So um, that, that moves us into the second phase, which was on the hike, it becomes apparent that these two phenomena of statistical fluctuations and dependent events happens to string the line out and put inventory of, of line space in, in front of Herbie. And also the, um, that the, 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 the variations in their hiking um, speeds miles per hour didn't really average out to anything because the gaps in the line accumulated to, to delay the entire hike. In the end, he puts Herbie in the beginning and he relieves him of, of all the um, extra weight in his backpack and Herbie is no longer the, um, um, the constraint on the hike anymore. He um, run, uh, walks at a normal speed and the hike gets done. Okay, um, the, the game um, takes place um, during the break at, on the hike where they play a simple game with one die, bowls and matches and they try to move the matches through. In order to get the kids to uh, uh, agree to it, he makes it interesting by placing a bet that whoever loses has to do the dishes that night. All right, that gets the game through and gets him the data that he needs at the end. He sets the rules to the game, he sticks with his rules, and he gets the data that he wants. They move on after, after the uh, hike is done and everything, he moves to his plant and they find they have a situation where they have to get another rush order out. So what does he do? He, he applies what he learned on the hike, he creates the rules to a game, and then they have to make 25 parts an hour go through the robots in order for this rush job to get um, shipped. But he sticks to his rules. The, the robots make no more than 25 an hour, and the people, uh, the people must try to produce 25 an hour. Well, they end up making 100 parts over the four hours, but because they were a little behind in the beginning and a little over at the end, they end up only ship, being able to ship 90 parts. Why did he stick to the rules of the game? Because he needed the data, just like he did with the kids on the hike. He, he made it interesting by making a bet. Well, he did the same thing in the plant. He bet Bob Donovan uh, something, and then at the end, when, uh, when, when, when they wanted to change the rules to the game, he would not allow that. They didn't ship but they got the data that he needed to go on to more planning and to finding the true, um, the, the true constraints and bottlenecks in his plan. <clears throat> so that, uh, that was the planning meeting. Um, the, the planning meeting re resulted in that game that they played in their plant with the robots, 25 parts an hour. Um, over here, um, uh, we're gonna have a test on next Tuesday, the 27th. 
So I will um, be doing a review in the next class and tell you what pages of the book you're responsible for. Today's notes were the measurements on the hike. Remember how I went through throughput, inventory, and operational expense in terms of the hike. Why the words change their meaning slightly on the hike or, we, or, or used in context. And then the height proved that they had the phenomena of, event, of dependent events and statistical um, fluctuations and how that makes the orders late in the plant. Then I talked about the planning meeting and then they set a game and they prove once again that they do have these phenomena and that's what they have to deal with in order to get their orders done on time. Lou, Bob, Stacy, and Ralph were in there. In the future, watch for all their, their future production planning meetings to be equally as meaningful and productive as the, as the first one, and then how they identify the bottlenecks in the plant, and then how they have to deal with them. Thank you, and we'll see you Thursday.